is Trina, <clears throat> a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. <clears throat> this is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, <clears throat> a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Me, I just got my laundry put into the laundry. Um, I'm happy about that. So this is going to be another episode of Moved In Now What? If you don't know what that is, it's basically a show where I talk about moving from a big four-bedroom, ba four two-bath uh, house, renting that, to moving into this one-bedroom apartment and one bath with three adults and one cat. And uh, it has been quite the challenge. If you haven't been keeping up with the episodes, check out the playlist and you can see, um, you can start from the beginning, <laughs> where it all makes sense. I'm going to light up a joint and I'm going to grab something to drink, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, um, make sure my window's closed. All right, it is. So, yeah, uh, it's been quite the eventful, uh, eventful week this week already <clears throat> crack open my LaCroix. LaCroix basically is just a carbonated uh, sparkling water and it uh, they're flavored a lot of the times. This one has hibiscus in it. Uh, funny, ironically, that they do this because before they even had a hibiscus flavored one, I was putting hibiscus tea in my sparkling water. I'm like, look, I made a hibiscus tea sparkling water. Next thing you know, LaCroix, hibiscus tea sparkling water the fuck anyways cheers <laughs> it's morning time but my belt my my belly <laughs> my stomach and uh my throat needs this um i feel like i have a tiny bit of a cold but i'll be all right i've been taking my vitamins <laughs> i have i've been taking some vitamins there's multivitamins along with um along with eating more fruits and vegetables uh, yeah, try to cut down on the oils, though, that's hard, <laughs> that's the hardest thing to do, so, all right, let me grab my joint, so, what's been going on here has been a lot of crazy, uh, as usual, um, and as I told you in past, uh, moved in now, I said, the whole pandemic has made things worse, um, as far as the laundry goes, the laundry room, Here's what happened on, I think it was Monday. Was it Monday? No, it was Tuesday. Tuesday, we had, pilot, we had a whole bunch of laundry we needed to get done because we went on a camping trip to Bodega Bay for three days. By the way, this joint is rolled using um, shake and uh, most of it was little nugs in it, so it's pretty intensely powerful. Um, I've been drinking a lot of stem tea lately, too. I've been medicating a lot, whether smoking, uh, edibles, yeah, you name it, because the th there's only so much I can take as far as noise and stress. So, um, tripling it up on the medication, you know, eating edibles drinking uh cannabis tea stem tea and um smoking so and i've been doing uh, concentrates i need to get some more concentrates so but the cannabis is what helps keep things uh sane for me somewhat sane with the living conditions i'm in um I know somebody recently said, they like when you dress like such and such and all that. Um, it looks really cool, you look, you know, and all that. I'm like, I like to dress like that, but not all the time here because I'm going to attract the wrong kind of attention. And so there you go. <laughs> so I'm not going to dress, I'm not going to dress uh, too revealing around here all the time. I mean, if it's hot, yeah, I'm going to wear a tank top and shorts, but other than that, um, I won't be wearing the pentagram dress outdoors. <laughs> yeah, all 
of this, all of these uh, methods of partaking in cannabis has helped with dealing with all this stuff. Um, I'm hearing motorcycles revving up all the time. Here's somebody's alarm, car alarm going off for God knows how long. <clears throat> People arguing about stupid shit that I really don't want to know anything about. You know, this kind of shit is just annoying. And upstairs, nonstop noise was going on. Now there's nothing. It's totally quiet. But nonstop noise. Someone rolling something around on the floor. It's just always kind of something going on. But ironically, nothing right now. <laughs> I don't like the sound of motorcycles. If you like riding a motorcycle, that's cool, but I don't like the sound of really loud motorcycles. I know all of them don't sound the same, but the really loud ones, I don't like those. Those are, whew. Mm. Makes me spill my drink. <laughs> so yeah, um, what was happening is that, that we only had one laundry room going on, right? At first we had two. When, we, when I first moved in, everything was smooth. For over 100 units, you're going to have to have at least two laundry rooms. Each laundry room has four washers and four dryers. Um, so it got down to where one laundry room is totally out of commission. It's locked. I guess all the washers aren't working. <clears throat> and then so we got just this one washroom, laundry room, for all of these units in this apartment complex. Recently... I was going to go do laundry on Tuesday, and um, I was getting all my stuff together, I'm going to go out and do laundry, and then I, I, the window happened to be open, I was talking to my husband, I'm going to go and do laundry, and I heard somebody talking through the window saying, hey, are you getting ready to go do laundry? And then I opened the door, it happened to be my neighbor, I don't know which apartment unit he li lives in, but upstairs somewhere, and I said, yes, yeah, he says, well, I just got, I just put my laundry in just now. I'm like, okay, so how long, about 30 minutes is going to be done? Yeah, I'll come and tell you when it's done. 30 minutes passed, didn't come and tell me when it was done at all. I went to go check, and there was still laundry inside of the washers, uh, three of the washers, and one washer was free. So I used one of the washers, and the one washer that I used was fucked up. So, um, I somehow managed to get two loads done out of it when there was only one dryer that was working. It was just fucked, a fuck day on uh, Tuesday. Uh, yeah. So I was like, okay, don't stress out too much about it, whatever. Just take a break. Don't do it ne the next day. Just get back into it the, the following day. So the following day, I was so exhausted. I had did bills and all this other stuff that I was taking care of, so I didn't do it. So today, <laughs> Friday, I planned on doing it on Tuesday, and now it's getting done Friday. <laughs> yeah. And I got my hair up because of when I do chores, I put my hair up. A lot of you like it when I wear my dreads down. Um, I would if I could, but uh, the other day my dreads almost got into the trash because so <laughs> of the length of uh, the longer ones, so um, I can't wear it down when I'm doing, you know, chores and stuff, but I do like wearing it down because it feels a lot, not as much tension on me, so I like it. But yeah, anyway, living here has been, it's kind of been a nightmare, really. It has, because it's really brought out, to some degree, the worst in a lot of us. You know, we end up saying things we don't want to say. And with Mercury retrograde in full sway, it's easy to go that way. It's easy to just go the negative route. Um, check out my Mercury retrograde video I recently did for part one. I haven't done part two. I'll be doing it soon. But yeah, I just want to catch up with you guys, touch bases, and let you know what's going on with me and living in this environment. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's it's nonstop noise, and when there is a break in the noise, it's it's very it's very little <laughs> little time in between when it's silent and when it's noisy. So.
and I've actually got dark circles under my eyes. I know you guys can't tell from this video, but my son noticed that, and I'm like, yeah, because I'm not getting enough sleep. And that's probably why I'm get, catching a little bit of a cold, because when I don't get enough rest, my health, it, it, it suffers, so. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for joining me today for Moved In Now What? If you'd like to um, subscribe to my channel, please do. If you'd like to um, donate to my channel, go to my, my Cash App. I prefer Cash App. But you can go to my Google Pay and my PayPal, and I'll have the links in the description below. You can visit me on Instagram and see my art and all the other stuff I'm up to. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I've been doing a lot of art because... If I don't do art, I'm going to go crazily insane in this apartment complex. Seriously. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. There's banging up there. Baby, like, screaming, you know, every five seconds. <laughs> it feels like that. But, but I keep myself busy, keep myself occupied with creating my art. And keeping my vision my, of what and where I want to be. <laughs> you know, and that helps keep me going. So, and you guys do too. So, thanks for joining me. Thanks you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares, and thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below. Let me know how you're doing through this pandemic. It's been really hard for a lot of people to feel motivated, and I'm one of them. So, stay motivated. If you start to feel tired, go to fuck asleep. Okay, don't try to prove anything to anybody. Just prove to yourself that you care about yourself enough to get some rest. So, with that said, brightest blessings to you all, and I will see you soon.